In this video, I'm going to show you how you can swap a material on an object using buttons. Now, the way that PDFs actually do this is you need to actually just hide and show a copy of the object with a different material on it. And I'm going to do this with a couple of cubes, one being red and one being blue. So I'm just going to create a PDF, put a page under it, and put it in a 3D view. Now I'm going to create a couple of buttons. So I'm going to create a button here. I'm just going to draw it down here. And then I'm just going to move that there, hold down Control, duplicate. And I'll call this one blue. And I'll call this one red. Now I want a couple of materials on my scene. One's going to be a blue material. The other's going to be a red material. And I want two cubes in my scene. And I need to rename it because I can't have decimal points in these names. You should always make sure there's no special characters. So I'm just going to call this uh, red cube. And I'll call this one blue cube. So if you have an object and you're wanting to swap the materials, this is what you do. You need to create a different version of that object completely and put a different material on it. There's no way at the moment to change material properties uh, on an object uh, with this PDF exporter. So with that set up, we now want to take takes and put these into some takes. So I'm going to come up to the takes tab and add a couple of takes. And we'll call this one blue take and this one a red take. And now I need to add the objects to those takes. So with these selected, I'm going to assign them to the blue take and I'm going to assign them to the red take. And then on the red take, when that's selected, I want to hide the blue object using the traffic lights. And when we're on the blue take, we want to hide the red take, a uh, red cube. So now if I was to switch between these, it's going to show the red one and the blue one. And when we're going to be exporting this PDF, you always need to make sure you're on the main take here. Okay, you always need to be on the main take so that it can uh, export everything that's in your scene and everything should be visible in the main take, even though we're not going to be displaying both of these at the same time. So first thing I want to do is select the 3D view. So by default, I want to have the 3D view to display the red take. So under the PDF um, tag here on the on the 3D, PD, uh, 3D view, I'm going to drag in the red take to the take section there. So that means that when this document first starts up, it's going to show the red take. And now on the red button, we want to do the same thing. When you hit the red button, it's going to show the red take. And on the blue one, we'll drag in the blue take. And so that should be enough to get this going. So now I'm just going to uh, export that out. So I'll call it uh, d slash temp test. Export it out. Open the file. Uh, it's opening on the second screen here. So here's my file. So it started with the uh, red take being visible. And you can see that there's the red cube. If I click blue, it's going to change to a blue. And then if I change red, it's going to change to red. So blue, red. There it's changing the uh, to the user, it's essentially changing the material on the object, but underneath we're actually changing the object's visibility. And you can see that if we open up the view here and look at the tree view, we open this up, and if I click on to the red one, you'll see the visibility change there. Click on the blue one, you see the visibility changes there.